dysphonism is otherwise called as levels of organization. Whenever you are seeing the nature, in the nature you can find the species, the first and foremost one, this is what called a species, that is one individual. This is one individual. A group of such individuals forms what is called as population. What is a population? Population is nothing but a group of same species. Maybe it can be the same species like the same type of tree. Like neem tree. Or maybe the group of tigers. Group of tigers forms what is called as population. Group of lions forms what is called as population. A group of any such same species is called as population. A group of such population forms what is called as community. The ecological interactions among the species are very very important. Whenever so many group of animals are living where it is called as community, within the community what is important is interactions. These interactions are called as ecological interactions. They are called as the ecological interactions. A group of such communities forms what is called as the very very important term called as ecosystem. This is the term ecosystem coined by a great personality called as Arthur G. Tansy. It is Mr. Tansley who coined the term eco ecosystem. This is the one where we will be discussing in depth regarding the functions of ecosystem, the components of ecosystem, because this is the basic block of the study of ecology. This ecosystem. What is ecosystem? A group of communities, like both the plant community and the community, when, and the animal community, when they are interacting with each other. Along with the abiotic elements, this is what called as the ecosystem. A group of such and similar ecosystems having same, almost all uniform climatic conditions where it is called as biome. What is a biome? Biome is nothing but group of ecosystems. Though they are located at different parts of the world, but because of the uniformity in the climatic conditions, like say for example, Tundra. The best example is Tundra, T U N D R A. The Tundra type of climatic condition where it is found both in the North Pole, even in the South Pole. Though the areas are different, the geographical areas are two different areas, but the climatic conditions are one and same, therefore it is called as the same biome called as Tundra biome. Also, I can give one more example like equatorial region. Whenever you are talking about the equatorial region, you can find the rainforest like Amazon. Also, you can find the rainforest like Cambodia. Also, you can find the rainforest like Malaysian rainforest or the Indonesian rainforest. Though the geographical areas of these forests are quite different, but similarity in the climatic conditions, not only in the similarity in the climatic conditions, like high rainfall, high temperature, even the vegetation is also is similar. Such a similar type of vegetation along with the similar climatic conditions where it is called as biome. A group of such biomes like equatorial biome, two-tundra biome, all they put together is called as biosphere. This is the larger term which is called as biosphere. The best example for the biosphere is the planet Earth. Earth is a biosphere. Whenever we are studying all these systems, what we are studying? Nothing but ecology. This is what the ecology. This is how it's called as ecology. Is it clear? This is about the ecology. What ecology talks about? Ecology talks about the study about all these aspects.